Hi children hope you are fine and safe are you ready i don't know all of you i hope we will meet soon so let's start our today's class now we are discussing about force that is types of force what are the types of force we already studied that what are the types of force that is the contact force and non contact force isn't it in the last class we discussed about friction what is friction we know the force of friction always acts on all the moving objects isn't it and the direction of force of friction is opposite to the direction of motion can you give daily life examples for friction that is we discussed in the last class that is while walking we apply frictional force is indeed do you understand frictional force we studied about contact forces that is the muscular force and the frictional force are contact forces then we are going to discuss about non contact forces what is non contact forces we have studied it in the previous class do you remember the force results when the bodies are not in contact with each other are called non contact forces let's study the examples of non contact force till now we studied the examples of contact force that is muscular force and a frictional force are the examples of contact forces that we have discussed previously but is contact between objects always necessary the force is come into play let's find out take a magnet and place it on the table we all know what magnet magnets are place an iron nail on the same table at some distance away from the magnet now move this bar magnet towards the nail keep moving the magnet slowly closer and closer to the nail make sure not to touch the nail okay then what what did you notice when the magnet come closer to the nail what did you notice yes when the magnet become close to the nail the nail jumps to the magnet and sticks to it what does this mean here the magnet attracts the nail but the contact is not necessary for this attraction the magnet pull the nail towards it even though it was not in contact with the nail the force that this magnet exerts on the nail is called magnetic force okay so contact is not required for the magnetic forces to come into play so it is a non contact force here magnetic force is a non contact force so we call this magnetic force as non contact force the force exerted by a magnet on another magnet it may attraction or repulsion is also magnetic force that is an example of a, a non contact force so hope you understand the magnetic force what is magnetic force magnetic force is a non contact force the force exerted by the magnet is the magnetic force so hope you understand magnetic force are there any other non contact forces besides the magnetic force 
here is an activity that you can perform at home rub your hair with a comb for some time and then bring the comb towards the pieces of paper what do you see the small pieces of paper get attracted to the comb why are they attracted to this comb can you tell me the reason why it is happening because a force acting between the comb and the piece of paper this force is attractive in nature because there is attractive force between this comb and piece of paper but this attractive force does not exist before rubbing so something must happened on the comb after rubbing with the hair we can say that this comb acquired something after rubbing on our hair that something that we called electrostatic charge let me repeat when we rub the comb with our hair the comb acquired some charge so now this comb is charged now and this charge is responsible for the attractive force between the comb and the pieces of paper hence the paper gets attracted towards the comb what about the pieces of paper we call it as uncharged what is uncharged body since it has no charge here the paper has no charge here the charged body attracts with the uncharged body the charged body always attracts the uncharged body but when the charged body brings near another charged body what will happen it does not attracts then what will happen it repels that is the charged body repels another charged body okay so the force responsible for this attraction and repulsion is the electrostatic force then how can we define electrostatic force the force exerted by a charged body on another charged body or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force the force exerted by a charged body on another charged body or uncharged body is known as electrostatic force so hope you understand the definition of electrostatic force here the force comes into play even when the bodies are not in contact so electrostatic force is a example for non contact force electrostatic force is an example for non contact force here the charged body attracts with the uncharged body whereas the charged body repels with the another charged body Okay we will learn more about electric charge in chapter 15 there is another example for non contact force other than electrostatic force and magnetic force that is gravitational force we will discuss it in the next class let's conclude today's section thank you